Yeah. Because yeah, Chen can Chen can do like secure the Night Stalker. Yeah. Main I mean, you can steal the tree and still it's not bad. But this Puck versus Kunkka, how do you think that's gonna go? Who It'd be like? Kunkka favorite. It's typically Kunkka favorite lane. Yeah, I mean, it can be really bad for Puck. Uh, low armor. If you get yeah. like Tidebringer a couple times, and I'm sure Carl is very used to this matchup. Yeah. No, I, I mean, I've seen Puck survive. Like, you go for like a really early chain mail. For Witchblade, mm -hmm. uh, but when you if you get hit by a couple of splashes too much, it, it can be like this like Kunka level seven. You're like just hitting level six. Mm -hmm. And I, I think Playhard's gonna just make his life also very uh, miserable. He's a very proactive <laughs> roamer. Yeah. Um, so yeah, All right. I think bleed two zero. Bleed, oh, <laughs> let's see what our casters have to say. Will it be a two zero? And what do you guys think, Avo and Richie, about the Puck Kunka matchup? Oh no, is this what it's like casting with me? Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. I, I, I thought about this five minutes he, ago. He actually is eating Sambal, by the way. Like he, this was just very a, good. This was a prop. We brought. I'm excited because I think last game, pretty low kill score, all things considering. I think this is SEA. Give the people what they want. We yeah. want those team fights. And you know what else is very SCA? Players that play like a couple battle. heroes incredibly well, right? Yeah. The mechanics. Yeah. And here we have a couple of staples. The Cuckoo Center, you already mentioned, incredible, of course. Uh, we also have the Karl Kunkka. He used to be called the Admiral for a while, right? But also, on the other side, Bleed is playing that Corden Puck. That used to be his best hero. He's playing a little bit less yeah, now because Puck is not that no, valuable. And the Masaros hero Night Stalker, which would be a dominant hero for him, together with a DK, on top of your favorite, the Witcher. Yeah, I'm a big fan of the Dubu Chen, and I'm also eager where they're going to run it, how they're going to lane it, as that's what the panel closed on here. Looks like they'll get these runes fairly easily. They've even got AU on his lovely little clockwork Kunkka set as well. Absolutely adorable. This is a really mean safe lane, though, that Blacklist Rivalry oh. are running, isn't it? This clockwork and this NP, you know, I think it was uh, Ninja Boogie talking about how, you know, the Lina's, your range heroes, want themselves a bodyguard to just feel at ease and, and harass from range. Sure. It's almost no better hero to do that in the game than this, um, than this Furion. The Furion? Yeah, they just prop it. Stop bottom for Raven. Enough. Right, you, you fucked as the bodyguard? Well, the clockwork's gonna act as the bodyguard for him. Right? Oh, for him. Yeah, okay, yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes I completely agree. I think I think clock is fantastic for this matchup. You also eliminate one of the heroes that usually bothers clock, right? Which yep. is the Fury, for similar ideas. Uh, I also I think clockwork as a hero is always fun to see competitive. I'm glad he's coming back a little bit. And I think the what Ninja Boogie was talking about, where people now swap lanes very easily, no matter what, has helped clock come back. Whether it's a four or a five, kind of unclear, doesn't really matter. As in the top lane, Tims. Yeah, oh, actually get saved by a little centaur stomp. He's gonna be fine, but a lot of damage going his way. Yeah, lots of damage. He's very eager to engage in these trades, right? He's bought out fairly heavily and invested in the Blightstone. Yeah. Um, so he really, really wants to get a lot of damage done in these early levels before the Marcy gets a little crazy anime mode with rebound. Um, so just, just squeezing all the efficiency out. You know, your HP is a resource. You have to leverage it in lanes to give the biggest advantage to your core. I... <sighs> Oh, I'm surprised by the fact that he went for Bushwhack level 1 as opposed to the Acorn shot, right? That's usually the harassment spell yeah. main. What do you think of... Why, why do you think he went for the stun instead? Honestly, I'm not really sure. I'm not a big Hoodwing player, but it could be for this instant. I don't think Bosku can quite catch up here, though. Uh, who, by the way, went for the double Ring of Protection build oh. on the Centaur. Yeah, it's a good idea probably against the yeah. Marcy plus Lina, right? And Lina's, at least in... They always try to max the fire soul as soon as possible, so you're mostly going to be physical damage the centaur that plus the retaliate could be a way to deal with lena yeah you know of uh coping you, with things oh go ahead can, can we can i ask you do you are you a lena believer you think it's possible so Dobby said earlier he has five tickets for anyone who can beat <laughs> lena that's right this dpc is, is it possible to beat this hero right now you should, you should just ban it i'm still honestly i'm still on the svg you know train on that one his thinking is give it a week and, you know, everyone will start figuring this this hero out in pods, and it'll eventually trickle its way into scrims, and that's finally when we'll see it here in officials. But these things, you know, they take time. I do think there are Lena solutions and answers out there. I think there always is. Leshrac, that was the big question. Oh, what do we do against this Lesh? You know, at CI, Tundra showed us all it could be done. I just think it requires a little bit of a different approach, but these things, they just take time. That's true. I, I really, I'm, I'd like to agree with Avery on that one. Okay.
It's true. Right? That explains the three texts I got before we started casting. But mm -hmm. he kept saying Lena is a monster, an, an abomination of nature. It's true. My check better be in the mail, Avery. <laughs> uh, in any case, I think mid lane, as we focus here a bit, uh, is where we can see Corden recovering very nicely. Not even recovering, to be honest. He's doing just fine. Definitely uh, got caught by a couple of those early yeah. tide burners. Not much you can do with that first point in phase shift, uh, but still having that uh, bottle online allowing him to easily sustain through a lot of the harass and find a good amount of CS in between. Wild, actually. This matchup is pretty Kunkka favored. So uh, the fact that Puck is holding his own in last it's particularly, right? Yeah. Which is usually where Kunkka wins. The harass is whatever. It's mostly the fact that he's a melee hero, Radiant has enough tank to survive the Puck, fire. goes for a double bracer. It's hard to just outlast it a Kunkka. Sure. Good for Corden. Yeah, but he's two years younger, though. That's the real trick. That is. It's all about the age. But I was telling you, these these pucks, these spirits, they're all the, the zoomer heroes. You need your reaction times, you know, real sharp and honed. And uh, I think uh, he's probably, I don't know about reaction time, but playing near at his peak, he's young. He hasn't played a whole lot of DPC before. He's probably playing like eight pubs a day still, and he can, and his manager makes him stop, and he's like, but I can go for more, you know? That's true. It's, it, it's also well known that DPC makes you age double the rate of normal human beings. It's like DPC years are like dog years. <laughs> You think? Yeah, and then when you win TI, you rejuvenate five That's, four, that's right. Years. That's why Aoi hasn't aged in, what, eight years since TI6, huh? That is very true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. TF5, TF5, yeah. TF5, yeah. yes, that's yeah, right. Have wow. you seen Thompson? Oh, Thompson has aged backwards. <laughs> that man's oh. incredible. He looks great right now. Yeah. What you get for winning TI twice, honestly. My goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Truly the elixir of life yes. here. This is true. Carl, uh, he is going to try to go for a quarter. Tried to bait out that he did a ghost ship. Did oh not God. do the ghost ship. Well done. It's play hard instead. Oh. Who oh. is going to go down, actually? Oh. The cost However, a Cuckoo. <laughs> yeah, and Tim's, Radiant's sorry, Boss Cuckoo, not Master Cuckoo. And that doesn't seem like the greatest of trades because Lena survives the whole engagement, gets the kill on the enemy off laner, and she already has the Falcon Blade plus the boots. Yeah. Yeah, it's the Falcon Blade making a big difference there. Deciding to go for boots first on Centaur over the Ring of Help. I'm not sure exactly what, you know, the best efficient quote unquote play there would have been. Um, but given that he does have this extra armor, he went for the 1 1 1 build. I don't know. I thought I would, would have seen the Ring of Help a bit earlier, but he's going to get that online now. And it'll be substantially tanker. Versus uh, against Lena. Oh, you know, a fear a year ago was telling me that when you play Centaur because the lane is so, so important, right? Yes. He would say that uh, you kind of have a decision between the Vanguard and face boots, mm. right? Because the face boots actually allow you to be much more aggressive, but it's definitely a win more item, and it can ruin your lane if you get it at the wrong timing. But Vanguard might be a little bit too passive. So I think Bosco had that option. Ring of Protection acts a little bit as that face boots, right? That's right. With the boots, that's right. because it gives you the armor you need to go against Lena. And I think that's what Cuckoo was thinking about. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I also have like to think about well, if the phase boots are a little bit more to do about the instant turn rate and the phase movement as well. For helps sure, you for sure. Get more aggressive, whereas the Vanguard, it's a little bit more of a sit back Radiant's and wait kind of item. Yeah, it's go against the tower and the enemy team leaves. You go, okay, well, they left. I'll take the tower solo. Exactly. But that's well, now with the one death, it, it does seem like perhaps Vanguard's could be the better choice, as you can see. And that Ring of Health being put to very good use with all that HP regen that he's clocking. Lena, though, also sitting very comfortable Dyer's here, is going to go first for this Maelstrom build after the Falcon Blade. That's uh, oh. good juke there from Bosco. This is some serious damage. They may have a kill here. I already that one's ridiculous, though. I should have been that far. Okay. Anyway, they go for the... Oh! We'll play hard now. And in fact, thanks to Raven, they get the kill on Jackie. Nice. Surprising the Lena. It seemed like play hard was the bodyguard, but he was actually the protective one all along. Now they're going to kill him, too. They got rid of the Lena first. Playhard goes second. One more hit from Tins is going to be the Bushwhack instead. You can't go into the trees against the Squirrel. They will chase you for your nuts. That was really, really nicely done by Blacklist Rivalry. I, I, I quite enjoyed that sequence of events. Uh, kind of just backing away, letting Cuckoo, like, hey, hey, he's low. He's overextending. Throw the stun TP behind in the fog in the trees. Uh, that was really, really clean. Yeah. And in fact, they've even managed to time this with the Minute 5 Wagon. This is huge because he was, I wouldn't say losing the lane, but he certainly wasn't doing typical centaur things which is exactly this he wouldn't have been doing this Dyer's without that sequence top. of events now the tower is his it's approaching level six already and lee has been given the boot very swiftly yeah. really really big turn there or the hoof here right the hoof indeed <laughs> raven though was uh, i also love this gank like not only does he gank to get the kill on lena which is already big in itself but he stays Dyer's top in the right top. moment which is taking the tier one tower the usual swap of the lanes right between the carry and the off lane right and this Radiant's is what the panel was talking about earlier about how raven's becoming a more active oh, carry these days and the hyper carry you to be known for. Exactly. I think part of that is, is the meta sort of conditions that these days. 
in, in this meta. <laughs> but um, it is really cool to see him on a completely different hero style. Uh, that that being so good at it. Yeah. yeah, and being so good at it, right? Kind of having those natural timings. Radiant's I remember back in the day, I remember like Eastern attack. Europe, you know, two years ago, mm -hmm. we, we would be, I mean, this is another just great rotation on in, right? Um, the 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 meta was being set by like guys instead like Dahawk who were like the only ones that were really playing this style. So, you know, go back to Stockholm Major. He's TPing in all the time, and now you know it finds its Radiant's way here. Pretty main stage, of course, with attack. plenty of buffs to Ned P along the way. To be certain. Trying to catch a spark in the wheel with a torrent. Uh, damage, however, is not very high just Radiant's yet, and he's not near any spot. trees. They, they tried to push back in early. It was very difficult. They're gonna go for the tower instead. Raymond once again being quite active here. He will still be going for the Midas though, so right. a little bit of both worlds. Just a bit. I Radiant don't mind that so much. I guess if you are gonna be fighting and going quite aggressively, then you still farm like crazy on the hero just by simply pressing R. But you're not, you know, he, he hasn't really just sat back in the jungle farming camps with his treants there. He gets the last hit on that tower and earns the pink for Tim's. Quick smoke. You can see, like, he's basically got no time. That They did smoke under ward, so this is unlikely to catch anyone. If they catch Chen, I think they'd be happy. Even if they just kill his creeps, they will yeah. do boop. And they will get him with a bone like this. So as well, they buy the poor dude. At least they didn't kill his creeps. Dubu was the player that... Uh, Famously top. talked about for top, <laughs> where they have the kills, the oil snapped, and the Laguna Blade uh, there yes. used for a kill onto Bosco, who was pushing pretty aggressively near it's Tier right. 2 tower. Well done. Dubu was the, the player that famously talk, uh, started talking about the idea that the creeps on Chen are more important than the hero itself, because it's so hard to recover them, right? So uh, when, when there's an option to either save the hill troll priest right now or the yeah. Chen, he'll choose the priest every time. He's not worth that much gold anyway, he's only level 4. And that priest is pretty bonkers. Again, we're still living in a mechanism era as far as how strong <laughs> this item is. And that is what, I think it's a 10 or a 15% heal buff uh, to all heals received in True. a very generous AoE. It's 1200 radius, which is the same as like a Vlad's. Um, so it, almost a full screen, right? And that's that's huge for mechanism and hand of God. Easily could turn some team fights uh, right in their tracks, especially against these heroes that have like, normally they're the ones that like the long fights because of ghost ship and all these powerful spells. And that's all of a sudden, it's not the case anymore. Uh, I might find himself out of spells really quickly. Nice jump there, though. This is the most clever wow. play. This is the 50-50s we're talking about. Absolutely. He gets away with it. Yeah. <laughs> that was very clever. Either he picks it up, spams the voice lines, and sends Corden packing without any bottle. Or he gets caught by a dream coil and is Laguna bladed and dies. And then he still spams Spams the voice lines. Exactly. The voice lines is like, you know how people players have it in their mind and do the blink poof just yep. by heart? Mm -hmm. Carl has the voice lines just by heart. Down. Yeah, down. But a flashy player and happy to see him. Of course, back in Div 1 here for, uh, for the side of Blacklist another, Rivalry. Another Div 1 player that I like to talk about. Did for his build this game. Oh, actually, wait, can I go for Corden? No. Seems like they expected the Bushwhack to connect, but okay, Corden's okay. That was a bit too fast on Bottom. that one. Masa, he can't fly over Marzarina, but he sure can fly over those cogs. He doesn't choose to, though. Just, want, just wants to kill AU instead, and he'll be able to save himself from Raven. In fact, the counter initiation is still available because we have yeah, Playhard nearby with a pretty high level rebound. And the Stampede will outrage and run away. Now the counter initiation is good from Blacklist Rivalry instead. Going for Playhard first. It's difficult to kill off Masaros, but Playhard will fall at least to compensation here. And they don't lose their carry. Okay. You can really see, like, this is a deceptively global lineup from just about everyone, right? Um, not quite global, but incredibly mobile at night here for Masaros. Anytime he activates that Dark Ascension, um, the Hand of God as Dubu continues farming up towards his mechanism. But even actually Blacklist Rivalry with, with a bit of you know, global uh, utility of their own on that Stampede really does turn that one right in his tracks. Uh, Bosco doing a good job of holding on to that one until it could really make a difference. And that'll net them the final tier one tower. So it's 11 minutes in, Blacklist Rivalry already with all three tier ones so they're looking to really wow up the pace as they immediately smoke underneath their tier one tower yeah they know that blade is once again trying to hunt down cuckoo seven like two three times once it was successful and their two it's not going to be and especially now if they can connect with him there is no stampede however yeah people say i talk too much Radiant are scanning. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Dyer's structures are fortified. Radiant's middle tower is under attack.
Dyer's top tower is under attack. Boom! There it goes! Yep. <laughs> Dyer's top tower is under attack. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Step lively now. Your battle is on board. Dyer's top tower has fallen. under attack. Radiance Middle you. Tower is under attack. My thrift rewarded. Dyer are scanning. under attack.
Dyer's top tower is under attack. Step lively now. Your Admiral is on board. Dyer's courier has been killed. I'm not opposed to taking the occasion. Illusion. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Dyer's structures are fortified. Radiant structures are fortified. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Dyer's bottom tower has fallen. Knots and full ahead. Not so safe. Ми бачимо, що після цих двох, кіло... двох флагів нічого на карті не коїться. Один полків відпушувати бот. Це Фуріон Мідл Тавер забрати буде дуже важко, але можна його хоча. Dyer's middle tower has fallen. Tough. Welcome back. Gold for my chest. Illusion.
Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Here I am! Are scanning. Oh, bounty. has been killed. Radiance Courier has been killed. from my chest. Mm. 
Bottom tower is under attack. Dyer's bottom barrel. Radiant. Radiant. 